Hello everyone. I'd like to give you a little information on James Henry Lane. He was the only person in American history to become a senator and a general at the same time. He held both those positions at the same time. Um, James Henry Lane was originally from Indiana. Um, he lived there and worked as a lawyer in his father's law firm. He moved from Indiana in 1855 and settled in the town of Lawrence. This Mexican war hero rose to prominence within the abolitionists and the free state community, not just because of his knowledge, but because of the way he dealt with the Missouri bushwhackers that they would catch in Kansas. Like I told you, James Henry Lane and John Brown were the best of friends when it came down to evicting and killing Missourians out of out of uh, Kansas. Another thing about uh, General Lane is that he was part of the security de detail for Abraham Lincoln in like 61 or something like that, where the White House wasn't secured and he, him and his men came up there and secured the White House and then they came back to Kansas. Lincoln eventually came to Kansas and visited Lane who took him to Fort Lincoln. Fort Lincoln is uh, really an outpost from Fort Scott that emancipated slaves were allowed to stay around and they fortified the junk. And that's where Abraham Lincoln visited James Henry Lane at in Kansas. Now, however, James Henry Lane is more notable for the Lane Brigade, the Kansas State Guard that he formed. Because after he formed them, it was in his heart to chase down Missouri ex-governor that was now a general in the Confederate Army named Sterling Price. General Lane, general Lane searched for Chip, uh, Sterling Price all through Bates County and the surrounding areas and could never find or find him to the point so that he could engage him in battle. However, he ran into a lot of other little Confederates and because of those little skirmishes, James Henry Lane went back to his thing and he began to burn every one of those houses that he saw Confederate sympathizers or saw Confederate supplies. He burnt it down. He ended up in a place called Osceola, Missouri, where he was expecting General Lane to be, but he wasn't. And to make a long story short, somebody fired some shots and then all it did is set him on the path of burning and looting again. James Henry Lane's men, known as the Lane Brigade, they ended up burning and looting a lot of Confederate cities all the way from Osceola, all the way to Osceola, and then back from Osceola back to Kansas. But while he was doing it, he was also picking up and freeing slaves and he brought them back to Kansas also. Now, the big thing about James Henry Lane is that once he got back to Kansas and it became a state, he was given presidential authority to form troops for the United States Army. And he formed the 3rd, 4th, and 5th Kansas, which were uh, white troops, Europeans. But the 1st and 2nd Kansas, which this book is about, Kuma, the 1st Kansas colored, um, the 1st and 2nd Kansas colored, were who he were the two armies that he formed full of black regiments. And that is one of the most significant things about James Henry Lane that I had to make sure that we knew about. So please stay tuned to my next videos. Also, you can go on Amazon, find my book. It's, it's it only costs five dollars. It talks about all three of the battles that were won by the first Kansas colored, and it also talks about the battles where the confederate flag was captured by them so please look for it on amazon but you can or you can just also hold up because i figure in a week or two i'm gonna go hold it and start posting some of those battles so keep an eye out for my videos until then be blessed stay strong and keep your head up